Hi, I'm Lilia Villanueva and I'm an accidental American, let's put it that way. I was born and raised in the Philippines and um, I never thought in my life that if I had to live abroad, I would end up in the United States, to tell you the truth. I was more Europe-oriented, maybe because of our Spanish background uh, growing up in the Philippines. My grandparents spoke Spanish, my parents spoke Spanish, and even though by the time um, my parents uh, raised their children, none of us spoke Spanish anymore. We were more American-influenced. I have been running and operating our um, art and furniture gallery in New York City for the past seven years. And prior to that, we had a similar business in Berkeley, California since the mid-90s. So I have been involved in the interiors, art, design uh, world for over a decade now. One of the goals that we had for having the business in New York is to join a, a, a bigger world of um, art enthusiasts. And, and we figured that we had um, one commodity that n not very many people know about and it was worth definitely sharing with and that was you know, Philippine wood, Philippine furniture, Philippine craftsmanship, and uh, the history of all that. I grew exponentially, you know, my first year at Berkeley, uh, in many, many ways, as a woman, as a, as a minority woman, as uh, an academic, as a, as a social activist. I mean, the whole works. It was just an amazing, 1968 was an amazing year to be um, in the Bay Area. I, 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 being Filipino, I, I feel like I have to say something about religion because it's a big deal in our community. And uh, I just want to say that when I was in college, I learned the difference between religion and spirituality. And it was in this, um, this period, in the early years of my college years, that I realized that uh, the two are not the same. And so it raised a very personal crisis on my part, which led to my leaving the Catholic Church. And it had a big repercussion in my life, of course, because my family is devout Catholic, and so I knew it was going to be very difficult for them, and as far as for me, but at the same time, it was also a chance to exercise what I considered very important and true to my own self. But now everything is fine. You know, everything, my, my family has completely accepted the way I practice my faith, and we're all on the same page with that, and, and I'm very grateful for that. My early role models then, where, um, well, I'll start with Nancy Drew. I mean, and she was American, obviously, but she really was compelling to me. I cannot imagine what it was like to read the first book and, wow, you know, a girl can do this and that's like, that's what I want to do. So she was a real propellant for me to do something and step outside of the small town that I grew up in, Bacolod City, you know, which is basically an agricultural town, you know. My family come from, you know, land, uh, we, we do agriculture, we're in the agriculture business. And so this was a very big departure, I think, you know, for my family, for sure. And uh, so she was a very, very strong role model as far as what girls could do and did do. And, and to top it all, she was having great fun. So that was me.